let's proceed to the nominator. So nominator, connect it again. Connect. I think you meant to say validator, buddy. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I got it confused. No, that's fine. That's validator. Fine. Yeah. That's why the two of us are on the call. I got you back, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, I've been because I guess for for the people watching, we've been running this like workflow for, for you know, days now. Freudian, okay. Freud, Freudian <laughs> slip. So yeah, so I'm in this in this workflow, I'm trying to be a validator. Next. So, so 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 just to tell you, so like that magical sort of hacks that my God, just to kind of nuts and bolts of that. Okay, you need to generate four keys to become a validator right and essentially what happens is each and every single you know like that, that leverages the principle of asymmetric cryptography right so basically out of those four keys every single one has well the private one that is a secret right and then you have a public one right which is basically you know uh, you can hex it out which is basically you know the hash value that we got over there and that's basically a concatenation of four of those keys in order for you to get that you need to one of the options that you have is basically um, called an RPC method that rotates your key. So that practically speaking means that, you know, it generates new keys off chain, but you know, in your key store, and then spits out that, ha uh, that hex as a, um, as a proof that, you know, that you in fact did that. And that's the hex that Mark used over there. Then I think almost the same setup as have becoming a nominator, but there's a slight addition on uh, determining the commission percentage. So this is, for example, it depends on the, the validator on how much he wants the nominators to get a slice. So, so, so again, if I can just uh, say button over here, the whole idea is that, you know, if you're running a validator, you do need to command infrastructure, right? Yes. nothing is free practically speaking if you're running that out of your basement well then you'll have to pay for the power right if you're running that in the cloud that's going to cost you even more okay so the commission is basically the cut you take as a validator before the rest gets split proportional to the stake so basically you know this regardless of you know of whatever you got self-staked you take it as um you know as a commission that you can use to basically pay for your operational expenses right and everything other than that is split again i can answer it's not proportional to your stake that is yes. every nominator's respective stake and your self stake because you as a validator are also staking tokens to the network Definitely. yep and then in terms of the minimum stake for this one for validators there's a minimum of 200. So let's say 200. Wait, let's wait a bit. I think there is, uh, let's try again. Or maybe I ran out of tokens. Let's check. Hmm. Let's go back. Let's try again. Oh, wait. Let's try a different count. Maybe this one is, I registered it already. I just yeah. Okay, let me copy that. Okay, mic three. Yep, okay, so this one is active. Sorry, not active, but already registered. Mm. Okay, so one more funds. And I guess for the people doing demos, that's why you have multiple accounts. Like you remember the demo of Windows 98 and then you got the biggest blue screen and people go like, what? Then you they whip up another computer. Yeah. There. Okay. There we go. Golden. Yeah. Yeah. Then the same process. You can unbond. Then you have to wait. In this case, I've tried it. Uh, so like fifty-six days. 
So in the same case, you can start start and stop validating. And this so just to kind of like give you an idea, I'm sorry that I got a button again. Okay. So go ahead. So when you stop validating, you're saying that you're chilling. That practically means that you have no intention anymore to validate. Why is this important? Because even though your tokens are bonded to the network, you are no upon finishing the era, you're no longer required to run your hardware, i.e., you know, accrue costs, right? It is just that bond is still there so that you know you don't just pull out the tokens and just go dump them immediately, right? So this is a very important point that the moment you realize that you cannot can't afford to run a validator or you just expect for a power outage or something like that, you can transparently say, I no longer want to receive, um, uh, I no longer want to be considered for validation. And that basically get, takes you off the hook and you will not be punished by the network then. Yep, okay. So any questions for validator? Doubt it, let's move on. Huh? Okay, so I think what, what we've shown you guys are something you can access publicly at the moment, nominator and validator, even though the wallet, like the one that I, I used is an internal build. It looks different from the one in the Chrome store, but generally it's the same concept. 